okay so this is part two of lesson four here okay. five number summary we need to define what is quantitative data so write this in your notes quantitative data are data that can be measured height you measure height by centimeter temperature by using degrees uh, weight by using kilograms distance by using kilometer miles rainfall by using liters cubic centimeter cubic meters like that gallons units of measurement anything that you measure okay so quantitative data is data that can be measured. You use a ruler, you use a weighing scale, you use a thermometer, you use a gauge. Anything that has a rule like this, has numbers like this, that you can read like this, okay? The clock is a tool for measuring minutes and hours, okay? Time, days. Okay, like that, okay? Make sure you write this, this information here. Quantitative data are data that can be measured, okay? Now, a set of quantitative data can be divided into four equal parts. These four equal parts are what we are quote, calling quartiles. Four equal parts is quarter, but because this is data, we call it quartiles please make sure you write that so these are two different sentences write this and then write that highlight divided into four equal parts write that and if you divide things into four equal parts you will get a quarter another quarter another quarter and another quarter there are four of them now, when you change this to decimal, you will get 2,500. When you change it to percent, you will get 25%. As you will see on this picture, that is why we say here that it's 25% of the data another 25 another 25 and another 25 so these are the four parts so now you you first divide into two so the middle number is the median so the median gives you half and then you divide half the upper half into two and the lower half into two then you have one two three four parts okay all right Let's continue. Now we are doing the five number summary. This is a numerical way of explaining or characterizing. When you see characterizing, it means you're explaining. So you're explaining a data set or a set of data. So you collect data and the question will say, give, characterize this data. When the question says characterize this data, it means give the five number summary. Or the question will just say, give me the five-number summary. It means the same thing. So, the five-number summary will have five different values. Well, it, it will have five values. Sometimes they will be the same. Sometimes they can be different, like that. Some of the numbers can be the same, like that. Okay? It, it depends with your data. So, the smallest five-number summary is the minimum. This is the smallest. Then it is followed by the lower quartile. Then it is followed by the median. After the median is the upper quartile. Then followed by the maximum, which is the biggest number in your number, in your number summary. So this is the least. This is the greatest. These are in order, like that. Another name for minimum is lower extreme. Another name for lower quartile is Q1. Another name for median is Q2. 
Another name for upper quartile is Q3. Another name for maximum is upper extreme. You need to know these because the question can ask you different way. The question can say, find me Q1. You should know that means lower quartile. Question can say, find me Q2. You should know this is median. Okay. Now, the five number summary, instead of you giving it in number form, they can ask you to draw the five number summary. When they ask you to draw the five number summary, it means you're describing it visually. So the five number summary can be represented or described visually by constructing. Constructing means to draw. Highlight these words that I have underlined. Highlight them. They are very important. And what will you draw? You will draw a box plot. And what is another name of a box plot? A box and whiskers plot. Are we together? Okay, we move on. Now, parts of a box plot. The minimum, the Q1, the Q2, the Q3, the maximum. You see these three, you see these five dots? They have to be in a straight line. Where is my ruler? They all have to be on one straight line, just like that. You can't have one up, another one down, no. Straight line. This line that you draw from Q1 to the minimum is called a whisker. This line that you draw from Q3 to the maximum is called also a whisker. This part where Q1, Q2, and Q3 are is called a box. It is made of three lines. This line, Q1 line, Q2 line, Q3 line. And then you connect them horizontally. You'll have three vertical lines and two horizontal lines. So there you have a box. So the whisker is from the minimum Q Q1. You draw a vertical line, a vertical line, a vertical line. You connect them horizontally. Then you continue from Q3 to maximum. Okay. For you to draw a box and whisker plot, you need a ruler. You cannot draw without a ruler. A ruler is very important. These spaces here on the number line must be congruent. They must be the same size. If I take the ruler and I measure, it will be same like that. If this is your first number, you need space before you draw the arrow. So if this is your first number, draw an extended line and make an arrow. If this is your last number, you need to extend and then draw the arrow. It must end with the arrows. The arrows must be there. Okay? These tick marks must be there. And they have to be equally spaced, just like in your ruler. Use the centimeter sign. It is easier. So you put the line on zero, you put a mark. On one, you put a mark. On two, you put a mark like that. You must start with the minimum. This has to be the minimum, always. Then Q1, always. Like that, Q2. This is the order. You cannot change the order. Okay? The dots must be on the same line. Same line. If I put my ruler and one is up, I am removing points to be zero. The box is between the whiskers. The whiskers are on the sides, the box is in the middle. Inside the box, you will always find the median. The median should be in here. Okay? All right, now let us do our own. So this is the data that we did earlier. Whatever this data is, I don't know. Maybe marks, 
in a quiz. Yes, this is your marks in a quiz. I gave a quiz that this is what the students gave me back. So now we want to do our five number summary. So you have your data, then you arrange it from least to greatest, then you write your five number summary, and now let us answer. The minimum is five. That's the answer, five. The maximum is 13. Let us do the median. Five goes with 13. Six goes with 13. 10 goes with 13. 10 goes with 12. 10 goes with 12. 10 goes with 11. 11 is our median. Now let us find the upper quarter. Okay? When you're finding the upper quarter, you start from here. You start from here. From here. So you cross out 10 with 5. 6 with 10 and then you're left with two numbers in the middle this becomes your u okay since this becomes your u this is 10 plus 10 divide 2 which gives me 20 divide 2 which gives me 10 so this is my lower quarter so I will write here 10. 11 is my median. Now I need to do here. I will do 11 with 13, 12 with 13, 12 with, no, I'm left with 12 and 13. This is my U. 12 plus 13. I divide by 2, 25, I divide by 2, I will get 12.5. My upper quarter is 12.5. Okay. No, 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 no.